powering through a bunch of new trailers coming out that have come out this week. Uh, we're going to continue on with Honor of Kings six minute gameplay. This is, I believe, a new Chinese game that's been popping off. This trailer has been popping off. I'm kind of curious to see how this one is. So let's take a look at this. Let's see how it is. Okay, like, what the fudge? This, is this gonna be a mobile game? Like, this looks too good. This cannot be in-game. That looks, what is this? Yo, the water animation though. This is not mobile. This cannot be mobile. I refuse to believe this is mobile. Actually, this, look, this looks even too good for like console in my opinion. <laughs> what is this? Hello? Tartaglia's whale? This is cinematic. This has to be. This is not in-game. I refuse to believe this is in-game. Sand gliding? What? Yo, what is this? Yo! Yeah, now I know why this is popping off. Uh, hello? Yo, what is this game? This looks very, very pretty. This looks so pretty. Okay, character designs, faces look kind of generic. Like, this looks like a very generic face that you see in a lot of like Chinese games or even Chinese anime that you CG. Um, their outfits look pretty pretty. They look pretty okay. Uh, but their face look pretty generic in my opinion. You see, I, I feel like I see these face designs a lot in Chinese CG, either video games or animation. So that's a little, that's a little basic, which is okay. Cause everything else is just so pretty. You get mystical beasts, Chinese mystical beasts as well. This is like leeway, but way better. Whoa, sci-fi? It's not just fantasy. Oh, cool gliding. Interesting. Gundams? Imagine if this is what Li Wei looked like. Okay, fantasy and sci-fi and guns combined together. This is so pretty, what? This is crazy. They they bring they bring us to this very very pretty blue tree glowing in the light that looks phenomenal. That's hitting them with some lighting on the outfits, like pretty background for the most part, like or like at least the tree pretty costumes, and then they just switch over to this next look. And these rocks though look kind of low res. <laughs> I can believe this is in game. I can believe this is in-game now. Like, these lightings look really incredible, but I can believe this is in-game because the uh, these rocks don't look fully rendered yet. Borker? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! What was the- wait, what- whoa, 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 these boss fights? These boss- Oh, archers? I'm into that. A. I'm interested in this game. The combat looks way better. You can switch. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, con confirmation. We can switch between characters right here. So it's so kind of switching characters like Genshin, except kind of better. Actually, way better because not only did they switch characters, they switched characters mid combo. Mid combo. You can't do that in Genshin. Like, look, he does this aerial combo. Thing, and then immediately switches over to the next character to finish off the combo. That is too good. That's a winner in my opinion. Ooh, the plunge attack. 
好像就是东方药在调查的那个。他也被侵蚀了吗？全哥学长。也许，这才是他追求的极致美学。Oh, hello. A bit. Uh oh. 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 Hello, Daddy. What? Oh. Oh, not no, dude. Dude, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you don't. You that th th this is an illegal move. You don't. You do not go close up on the hands. You do not go close up on the hands. Just, just give it a second. Give it a second. You don't go close up the hands and do these finger movements. That is illegal. That is illegal. The finger animation, so smooth. Look at that. That is illegal. <laughs> you don't do that. You don't do that. It's gonna get people going. Puppet master. That is also a puppet. Let the show begin. <laughs> Let the show begin, sir. Oh, we actually get to see the gameplay? Yo, that's a lot of enemies. Archer? Oh, I want that archer. Oh! Oh, you can run out of arrows from her. Okay, actually, this is... This is very interesting. So, this looks like a stamina gauge, like in Genshin, but there's a number beside it, which means that you have a limited amount of arrows. That does recharge over time, because we get to see it go up in number as well. Wait, that was- wait, was that four characters? They switched between four characters, right? So it looks like a four- four-party team, which is pretty crazy. Oh, wait. Hello? Why did Waifu turn into him? I got- we got fooled. We got fooled. Yo, I know some people that wouldn't be tied wouldn't mind being tied up by this guy. What are you doing? Man, there's so much hand animation from this guy. Some people cannot handle that. Some people could not. This is actually crazy. Wow! I'm actually impressed that this is in game. Ooh, transfer transformation guy? If this is a free-to-play game, like it's a gotcha game, um, count myself very interested. Like, uber interested. Wait. Wait. It's the guy from Big Hero 6. I did not know he got upgraded to this. Also, does he have a bear face? It's a bear head! That's actually crazy. What's his name? <laughs> I forgot his name. I forgot the guy's name. From Big Hero 6. That was actually crazy. That was actually very crazy. Oh, me mechanical whale. Baymax, there we go. Oh, that was a prettier face. Grandpa descending. Yo, look at these cities though. This is this is not for mobile. And I am into it. Man, there are so many games coming out. I don't- oh my gosh. Wow. That was... incredible. What? What platforms is this for? I swear. Also, these boss fights look intense. That that this boss fight looked like Souls level with a little bit more fast-paced action thrown into it. Like what the heck?
What the heck? What do we do? We know what platforms this is on. Honor of Kings World platforms TBA. Oh, we don't even know what platforms it is. Okay, that's fair. I definitely don't see this as being a mobile game because it looks way too good. Because if this if they try to put this on a mobile platform, phones will be exploding, guaranteed. I'm definitely going to look into it. Looks like it would probably be gotcha considering there's multiple characters unless they make this like a very much a single player game with a very concrete story. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I feel like this is going to be a gotcha game, which means free to start off and then get tempted to uh, spend money to pull the characters you want. But I'm curious. I, I might give this one a shot. I'm very curious. Kind of cautiously uh, optimistic about this game. It def they definitely put the budget on the gameplay and like the backgrounds and the action. Like I'm, I'm pretty hyped for this one. Not gonna lie.